All right, welcome to episode two, Road to Down Under. Now, like I said, part of the series is going to be going out, doing some fun things that aren't directly related to preparing for a big show. And one of those is going to be collaborating with some friends. Uh, so we got Jack Farlow, Rogue Invitational Competitor, and absolute freak Emma Lawson, who came third at Rogue, sixth fittest woman in the world. And she's not going to Wadapalooza because she has final exams. Uh, so she's still 17. Uh, which is insane. So we're gonna go over some monster dumbbell today because I need some help with how to drop under that. We're gonna mess around with the Atlas Stones. They're gonna put me through a CrossFit workout, maybe teach me to do a muscle up, something like that, and we'll have a bit of fun. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you soon. The general principle is that this rests somewhere back here behind your head. Then you dip and you push it over your head. Now, the guys who are the best in the world find a way to get themselves in like this position, Ugh, somewhere in there, which is horribly uncomfortable for me. But I want to learn how do you go from here into a drop? Something like that. Okay. Let's see, even what he's doing. This is the thing, you've got it like built into your brains. That like as soon as as soon as you start pushing something, you're just like nah. Like even though it's no weight at all, you're like down here. See, you get it figured out pretty quick. Like your position's okay, but your catch is really good. Like both of you can catch it so well. Uh, this is Josh Willie, who coaches Emma and Jack. He's gonna be helping us out a little bit today. And um, I mean, pretty successful run for you over the past couple of years. Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, but then with Emma since she started, when she was 14, 13? Was 13. Yeah, yeah, 13, right. so right. we've had a pretty good run. And then Jack's been around for a couple of years now, and he's, he's close. I think he's yeah. gonna crack to the games this year, which would be awesome. Yeah, because you were real close last year, right? Yeah. yeah, a couple of places off. What's going on with your shoulder before we mess you up? Oh, I don't you know. Okay? I've had, yeah, uh, since after the games. I don't know. I just started having this pain, and then it's kind of gone a little bit. I right. think it's from Where's school you? and being in this position all the time. I am right here. Right. It's my right shoulder. I don't yeah. know. I just can't get it to go away, but pressing overhead irritates it. Yeah, okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jack. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. oh my god. Well done. Slightly behind. Forearms are very slightly behind and hands go in front. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get it. It's funny with these, the neural, the neural bit to it. It doesn't fatigue you like get closer and get closer because like that isometric contraction. That's a punish. I feel like we have to have lower such a than, punish. Lower than, lower than. <laughs> One peg lower. One peg lower. You're I want to learn something CrossFit. All right. Something wanna... CrossFit will keep it equally challenging. Then if I actually get it, it will be a success. You want to learn something CrossFit? I reckon. Like a gymnastics movement? I reckon. I think, I think muscle up would be really okay, cool. I, I Bring or bar? Up. Bar? I think. Yeah, bar. I don't want to uh, get yeah, hurt. Yeah, bar. My arm will be. Yeah, it's true. 
Yeah. The first thing that we want to establish is just like a, a good kip swing. So getting up on the bar, maybe we'll get Emma or Jack to demonstrate. So you're gonna see she's gonna move through an open and closed body position while maintaining good tension through her entire body. So if I said, if I were to say stop, stop, like she can hold that position oh. and she's not gonna keep swinging. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. So the next thing we'll talk about a little bit is just like the positioning over the bar. So it's one thing to have that kip swing, but if you want to do a bar muscle up, you have to get your body over top of the bar. Of course. You're going to go back into this uh, open position, yep. through that closed position, and jump, and then pull yourself up and over the bar. Sure. Oh. No problem. So the next will just be tying it in with a band. So this is just going to make your body a little bit lighter. Go ahead. Ooh, that's close. Mm. All right. We can bar a good chest pop. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a good, good chest to bar, yeah. Oh, it's close. Close. So a little bit too, like, pulley into the bar. And so eventually you're just going to run into a position where your chest is hitting the bars, which is what you saw. Yeah. Right? So we have to make sure we have a little bit of distance. So that way our chest can get up and over the bar. Oh, so back a bit more. Yeah, right? And so that's where we think about long arms. Okay. Right? So same thing with the stone. You want long arms, right? You uh, get a bit anxious. Just think light. Uh, light okay, light yeah, as a yeah. feather. Like a breathing helium. Yeah, light as a feather. All right, like I'm a swift 280. Oh! You're right. Yeah. You're right. You can get it. I reckon. You can get it. So you're just started pulling too soon. Right, so you just knocked out all the momentum from your kip, yep. and you started pulling too soon. Yeah. But if you let that momentum build and pop that hip, Ooh, you're getting over for sure. Oh! <laughs> Close. <laughs> Close. Close. <laughs> all right, I think, I think we need to put the pressure on. Fabian, go back there. We're all, we're all gonna do it simultaneously. All right. Two. <laughs> Wait, stay up there. We're going to Photoshop it. <laughs> Damn it. Turns out the crossfitters are better at crossfit. Shame. So, I just noticed something in the mirror that every single person in Strongman will know what's going on, and I bet these two don't have any idea. Okay? This, this here. Is it on this side? Is it on this side? Yeah. Yeah. What's your guess of what that is? Ah. <laughs> you stuck your head on something? No. Oh. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's stature related. Stature related? Yeah. So just from being, just from being heavy? Uh, partially, yeah. yeah. Big neck. So... They still don't get... <laughs> <laughs> Did it happen when you were in the bathroom? No, no, no. Nothing really happened. It happened, oh. it happened, watch, this is how little they'll know. It happened while I was sleeping. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> you have to wear a mask. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the old CPAP. There we go. <laughs> I, bet I bet CrossFit zero CPAPs. <laughs> yeah. So you got 650, 15 clean and jerks, 25 bar facing burpees. So you'll finish on the opposite side that you started. Sure. Right? And then 15 snatch and then 650 row. So okay. I'll, I'll yell it out as it does. Cool. Remember to breathe. So what's the strategy here with the rower? So again, the row here is to build in some pre-fatigue before moving any of the other stuff. So you want to go at a manageable pace. Um, the workout's short enough that like it needs to be borderline, borderline dangerous pace. Um, but you want to be like smooth and steady throughout. So Mitch started at a 118, 500, and he's now at a 142. So slow down quite a bit. 
we'll see how uh, the rest of the workout pays out for him. 15 clean and jerks. This is so hard. <laughs> I'm impressed that Jack's cycling the snatch, which is awesome. So he's definitely closed up and like passed down and out, which is good. Um, again, the burpees there were kind of meant to be a bit of a recovery pace. So if they went a little bit hot, they're definitely feeling it now. Yes. Uh, Mitch, is, Mitch is hanging in there, so that's good. It looks like he's dying a little bit. Yeah. Focus on that breathing and settle into your pace. We got just over 200 meters for Jack and about 80 meters for Emma. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Everybody's favorite time when I just point the camera in the face. How are you feeling? Good. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Pretty good. I think you gave it your all here? Yeah. Definitely at the end. <laughs> How are we feeling? Oh. I hurt. Yeah. Yeah. The back row was tough. Five more pulls and you're done. One, two, three, four. Last one. Oh. Done. Get across that line. Oh. Touch the oh. leg. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And done. Yeah. 11.15. Oh, man. That's good. You guys are ridiculous. Oh! What would you guys rate Mitchell's performance there? Oh, that was really good. Very strong yeah. for 650. Very, very yeah. strong. Yes. Um. Good row pace. Yeah, really good. Here's what I'm going to say. I'd be the worst crossfitter, but I challenge any strongman to go beat that. Oh! <sighs> wow. That's that was tough. tough. That was tough. Yeah. We're going to head out. We're going to go get some food. Hey. Hang out a bit. Huge thanks to all three for a great day. That's episode two of Road to Down Under. We'll catch you next time. Take care. Awesome. Nice. Woo.